In this video, we're going to look at the history of computing, going all the way from before computers existed, right up to the modern day and beyond. Today, we're at the Science Museum to look at their computing collection. Let's start at the beginning. The Le Bombo bone is the oldest recorded computation device, and dates back from 35,000 BC. It is thought to have been used as a calendar. Of course, another early aid to calculations was the abacus, early forms of which have been found dating back to about 2700 BC. The very first computers were mechanical rather than electric. You can see here one of the most famous early computers, Charles Babbage's Difference Engine. On setting up the device and cranking a handle, a system of gears calculates and produces a hard copy of complex calculations. With electronics, mechanical calculators were destined to become a thing of the past. The first electronic computers used fermionic valves to perform their calculations. These included the Colossus Mark I computer, used to decipher the German Enigma codes, and ENIAC, the first programmable electronic computer. These early computers filled large rooms until the invention of the transistor. First invented in late 1947, transistors did not heat up as much as thermionic valves, and had the potential to get much, much smaller. This enabled the invention of integrated circuits, which are much more efficient and cheaper to produce than their predecessors' discrete circuits. This led to companies further shrinking transistors in order to fit more and more of them onto integrated circuits. A trend was formed and was spotted by Gordon Moore in 1965, now known as Moore's Law, which is that the number of transistors that can be put on an integrated circuit doubles around once every two years. Eventually, in 1971, computers became cheap enough to move out of the workplace and into the home, in the form of the Kenback One, and thus, the first PC was born. Nowadays, computers are everywhere, but you decide what happens next. 